Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. Today is a very exciting video where I am collabing with a friend of mine, Susan Wallace, for the very first time and I'm so excited because she reached out and just put out an open invitation for whoever wanted to collab with her just to hook up and so we did and so I noticed in her pile of uh, palettes that she had this Garden of Juvia's which I do too as well so we're gonna do a look with this uh, it's gonna be like a free-for-all we pick whatever shades we want we're doing a giveaway so stay tuned for that and I'm going to share a secret word with you all and my giveaway is gonna be a mystery giveaway y'all know how I like to do I like to put in um, like a palette and a lippy a couple of masks you know a couple of other items to round everything off and make it like a subscription box or a subscription bag you know and I put it together and then whoever wins you know gets those products and so anyway that's basically what it's gonna be so I've done only one look with this palette and I used pretty much like these pinks and purples and I'm thinking today I want to go into like some of these greens and that shade right there which is like a multi-chrome and maybe this yellowish green I'm not sure and maybe one of these other yellows I'm going to try to stay away from these two mattes down here and just stick to like this section of six shadows and just do kind of like a green look today and I think it's going to be a lot of fun so my skin is already prepped i've already put on serum eye cream moisturizer that whole bit and so now i'm going to go in with some foundation and i think today since i'm leaving the house i'm going to go in with the perlice vitamin c cc cream with spf 50. so this has got vitamin c and hyaluronic acid it does color correct and brighten and it's age defying as well and it's a really nice shade and so I'm just gonna use a brush and I'm gonna brush this on I love to use this brush here from per cosmetics for foundation there's things happening outside in the neighborhood people are riding motorcycles and you know there's a chainsaw going and all kinds of stuff and so sweet peas really right now she's wound up so I apologize for any barking 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 she is the barking this little thing so she has a tendency though to be really quiet when things around the house are quiet and especially at night you know when things settle down and everybody in the neighborhood's asleep she sleeps really good and I, I get plenty of rest even though she is a somewhat kind of like hyper dog you know some people think oh I would never have a dog like that because I'd never get any rest but you do you get rest but there are times when you are trying to rest and you know she's excited about something and wanting to dance on your head or whatever but anyway I've got her trained and she she usually leaves me pretty much alone when I'm sleeping we sleep together every night. She's a faithful little dog. Okay, so the foundation is very creamy, very hydrating. I think I need a little bit more for my neck. Just a little bit. I love this stuff though. It is fantastic. And if you have combination skin like I do you probably would like it too but it covers pretty well I mean I've got tons of freckles and uneven skin tone I've got hyperpigmentation around my eyes and you know this does a really good job of covering up circles I still need concealer but it does dry down to a really nice finish and I really like it a lot Okay, now a little bit of concealer. Let's see what we can get into today. Let's try this one from Yensa. Yensa and Perlice are owned by the same um, owner, the same creator. She created both brands and 
these products work really well together so let's use this concealer today I also have a primer with essential blocks it's called the Yensa tone up primer which you can mix in with any other foundation and it works really really well to bring on a really nice glow to the skin if you're looking for something you know to help out with you know let's say your foundation has a tendency to be more on the matte side so anyway let me just go in with this sponge and we're gonna I cannot wait to get back into this palette I've been wanting to do it for a while now and you guys are gonna have to make sure and check out Susan's video as well check out her channel and subscribe to her if you haven't already she's an amazing creator and she she's crafty and that's really one of her biggest you know assets to me personally in my opinion about her channel is that she's you know doing crafts she knows how to do crafts on a budget and find things and repurpose them and she creates things that are uh, affordable to put together and she has great ideas and I just you know I think that her channel is really really good she also does some hauls and you know makeup looks and collabs and things like that too but the thing that really makes her stand out in my opinion is her crafts okay so we want to set this down I'm gonna go in with this OPV Beauty setting powder it's a translucent setting powder and so anyway I'm gonna use this little puff that I've put inside of the container and I'm just gonna set this concealer down really quick and and just hit the high spots on where I have a tendency to produce oil and where the makeup breaks up on me first I'm gonna leave the rest of the face untouched by powder but just mainly hitting the concealer section and the t-zone okay so all right let's let's get into this palette y'all I'm excited about this and I will do the rest of my makeup off camera so the matte in the green section is this one right here so I'm gonna start with it let me find a nice little fluffy brush here let me use this one from B Bella I like this brush right here and these shades this is these are pretty pigmented these shades right here they are not some of them are really not for the faint of heart there's quite a few pressed pigments in this palette and and then the rest of them it's like half and half half pressed pigments and half shadows and I have a picture that I've taken and I've marked up for you guys and so anyway I will include that in uh, in the picture my share pictures you know photos at, after the video you know at the end of the video so but isn't that pretty y'all that's like a, the prettiest like it's almost like a mint green like a almost like a bluish green that's just really super pretty I just love a shade like this like a seafoam green just gorgeous so anyway I'm gonna take it pretty high up above my crease above my natural crease because I have hooded eyes and I really don't want that shade to get lost so there you go all right let me find a detail brush here a smaller one and let me use this one here from complex culture and I'm going into that same color just while I'm right there in that color and I'm gonna go underneath the lash line since this is the only matte that I have and I'm just going to outline the eyes here with that same color 
Now this is going to be a pretty light look. This is probably about as deep as it's going to go. So, all right, let me find another brush. Let me go on with this one from LaRousse Beauty. And I'm going to try th that shade that I just used is called Lucky Clover. Now I want to go into this shade called Best Buds, which is just this beautiful green, bluish green shimmer. And I'm not sure, this may be like a topper shade. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to put that on the lid. Isn't that pretty, y'all? That is so gorgeous. I just love it. I think it transfers better on the finger. Love it. Love, love, love it. I got something in my eye. Okay, so that matches really, really well with what I've already laid down. So let me let me try another shade here. I've got let me go into this one called Money Tree. Or what is this? flower petals and then we have daffodil so both of those are pretty light i think i like that daffodil one though really nice let me just pop that in the inner corner daffodil oh yeah oh yeah i made the right choice and i'm going to use this one out here i think just for just for giggles because I'm really interested in these shimmery shades oh my gosh can we get enough shine I don't think so no okay let me do the other eye and I will be right back okay y'all I'm back and I put on all the all the other stuff I did the eyebrows I did the bronzer I did the blush and I did some eyeliner and I did some mascara and I'll go over all those products with you in just a minute um, I did use all of the shimmers all that whole section of six shadows and I popped a little bit of that really light yellow in my uh, inner corner there and that shade was called sunshine this one right here so there are the swatches super gorgeous that second one there that looks kind of pink it's it's the duochrome in the palette it's called money tree and it's got like a pinkish purple flip to it and i just love it so again i use these six shades right here starting with this one and i just kind of went around and i just i was just wanting to try the shimmers and just see what I could you know put together so anyway the one that has the pinkest purple flip I put that on the outer corner and I put that really pretty gold right there in the inner corner so then I found a, a waterproof eyeliner that I wanted to wear today this is from crown really affordable brand and I had three that I was looking at but this is the one I went with it's right here on the very left side there for you and it is one of those ones that you sharpen with a sharpener which I find those you know they may be kind of inconvenient because they're not retractable but you can get that really sharp tip and they you know with the sharpening I feel like it's uh, a lot more hygienic so anyway and then the mascara that I'm wearing today is uh, the superhero from it cosmetics the waterproof formula I absolutely love this mascara oh my gosh it is awesome 
Today's blush is the one from uh, City Color. It's a baked blush. It's called Keep Bloomin' and it's got like a highlighter quality to it. So I didn't put any highlighter on. But let me show you this, this blush, y'all. It looks so intimidating in the pan, but I mean, you can really pile it on. It's just beautiful. I love it. And then the bronzer that I chose for today is the one from Complex Culture. It came in this compact here. And there is the shade. It is called Power Player. Love this bronzer. It picks up on the brush really, really nice. And then I'm just using the same old brow pencil and brow gel that I've been using. This is from the Brow Gal and the Trace Loose Brow Gel to set it down. Okay, so that is the makeup items that I've chose for today, except for the lips. And for the lips today, I want to go in with this new one uh, that I got in my uh, Slay Glam box. It's from Sa Sachet. Sachet. Anyway, it's one of those ones that has like the liner on one end and the lipstick on the other end. And I thought I'd try that out today for you guys. And we'll just see. Because I think the peach will... It's kind of a peachy shade. And I think it'll look good with, these, with this green. So let's just see what happens. It's kind of a peachy pink. Kind of a nude, really light. I usually use lip liners that are darker than this. But I think this is going to be pretty. So nice and light. You can already tell that little tint of color is there. And then the lipstick. Which is lighter than my lip color. But still very pretty. And creamy. Goes really good with the blush too. So I like it. So we'll see how long this lasts today and Let's spray everything down. I'm gonna go in with this uh, spray called uh, One Hit from Item. And we're just gonna give it a quick, just a, a really light spray. Everything's waterproof. It should be okay for today, y'all. You like my bunny ears? Easter's on its way, y'all. So anyway, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put on any lashes today, y'all. I'm really quite happy with this mascara. For a natural look love this love these greens oh my gosh that matte it reminds me of one I used to wear when I was in high school all the time and then with the shimmers with it it's just absolutely stunning so my eyes almost look like they're a bluish green when I wear this today but again this is the Garden of Juvia's place palette Garden of Juvia's and so so far I've done two looks one I did with the purples a while back and then today I'm using all these pretty greens and yellows and maybe next time I'll try something with the pinks. I don't know. We'll see about we'll see about these nude shades down here. So anyway, all all of these down here on the bottom are um, mattes. Lots of shimmers in this palette. Love that love all these shimmers. Such a good palette. Can't wait to play with it again. It's really gorgeous for spring. So, for today's giveaway, you guys, you have to be subscribed both to me and Susan publicly. And I have a whole list of rules down in the description. You have to be um, 18 years or older. YouTube is not responsible for, um, not affiliated with any of the brands presented here today. You have to make sure and test your skin on anything that's going to be in the giveaway because I'm not going to be held responsible for any of those uh, reactions that your skin might have. Have to live in the continental U.S. Um, have your YouTube channel for at least a year uh, with your profile picture posted. No duplicate entries. Uh, also follow me on Instagram. That is a requirement. 
and have your profile picture posted there as well. Um, no fake accounts, only one household per entry, and I reserve the right to toss out any entry that I suspect is a fake or a dupe or cheating in any way. And this giveaway will be held for two weeks, and I will hold, um, I will draw a winner through the random YouTube comment picker, and I will post the winner um, on my community tab the day after the two weeks are up and that person the winner will have 48 hours to contact me and claim their prize in the comments of that community post tab and then of course scoot over to Instagram and make sure that I have your you know touch base with me there and let me make sure I have your legal name and your legal mailing address and those are pretty much the rules if you want to read everything down in the description below that'll help you um, follow the rules and I do check and yeah that's pretty much it so for today let's see secret word let's do the word garden for garden of juvia's garden so are you fixing to grow a garden do you like to grow a garden do you like to pick things out of the garden do you do a flower garden you know just let's talk about gardens today are you a gardener <laughs> a Carolyn gardener I know you're a gardener <laughs> all right y'all that is it for me today thank you so much for watching I appreciate your time and attention and God bless you today is my prayer I will see you in my next video bye